Hey writers, happy drafting day. Today you are here because you are drafting your informational writing piece. And I wanna teach you a strategy for drafting. And that is to ensure that you are including both action facts and descriptive facts. So when we're writing an informational piece about something, we know that we're teaching someone about, we're teaching the reader about our topic. Right. And a lot of times we include facts in that teaching. Now, facts can fall into many different categories. But today I want us to think about two main categories. One is action facts, what the thing in your topic does. And descriptive facts, which is kind of like what it looks like. OK, so for me, my topic is hiking. And my section that I'm drafting today is the different types of hikes. So I will talk about easy, medium, hard um, types of hikes, and then also short and long. And so in that, I will think about like the action of going on an easy hike versus the action of going on a medium and hard hike, but also the description. So what do those kind of hikes look like? Um, what might you see on a hike like that? Um, so I'm, I'm I'm generating ideas for my drafting, thinking about these two different types of um, facts. OK, so before I draft, I might even do a little pre-writing section um, on the top of my page to think about those different types of facts. OK, so let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so as you can see on my paper, I've done a quick pre-writing just to get my ideas ready to go. So I've made a chart where I have action facts and descriptive facts, and I talked about each type of hike, right? So there's my easy hikes. Um, the actions are that it's not so hard to do. You probably won't get out of breath. Then the descriptive facts are what it looks like. It looks like a flat trail, and you can finish it pretty quickly. Then there's, there's the medium hikes. You might get out of breath at certain places. Um, you will use your muscles. That, so that's the action. The descriptive of what it might look like is trails might go up and down. There might be a short challenging part, right? So that's kind of like what you see. Then the hard hikes, you get out of breath quickly and you stay out of breath. That's an action. You might have to do vertical climbs, action. You'll see lots of people resting and it might end with a beautiful view. So I've written down my action facts and my descriptive facts, and this has really gotten me ready to do that drafting. So now that I have this, I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to write out the long sentences. My hand is pretty sore. That was a lot of writing, but let me read back what I have written so far. There are many different types of hikes that can suit different types of hikers. Easy hikes are typically a flat trail in a short distance. You shouldn't expect to get out of breath on these types of trails. You'll likely see families walking along and engaging and enjoying their day. Medium hikes might get you out of breath in certain parts of the trail. You can expect to have the trail go up and down in certain places. However, it will be a mix, so you aren't always going up and feeling challenged. Hard hikes will be challenging. You will likely be out of breath for a lot of the hike. Because of that, you'll probably see people resting alongside of the trail, drinking water, and catching their breath. You might also find some vertical climbs on a hard hike, where you'll need both your arms and legs to keep going. Oftentimes, a hard hike will end with a beautiful view. Okay, so... As you saw in my kind of process of drafting today, 
I wanted to make sure I was including both action facts and descriptive facts. So in order to do that, I did a quick pre-writing to write about um, the action facts and the description facts of my topic. This is something that you can also do in your drafting today. Think about the topic you're going to write about and then figure out what does it do, right? Or uh, what will the person do, right, depending on your topic. And then what will it look like? What does it look like? So the action and the description. When you make sure that you have both of those in there, it's really going to elevate your writing and have some great um, descriptions and really make your reader understand your topic better. Okay, so happy writing. I will see you soon. Bye.